everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. One of the big challenges that most beginning throwers and coaches face, they don't know where to start, they're all over the place, they're off balance, the throw feels uncomfortable, so how are you going to approach it? So here we're gonna talk about Max Rubin, one of my athletes, and this is what it looked like when he started. You can see that he falls off balance, so his entry's completely off, how he carries the discus, his orbit, right? And these are all the things that make throwing more difficult. One of the first things we'll do at this point is we'll go back and we'll start to explain and we work from the release of the throw back that's kind of part of our six pillars so we understand and explain the chain reaction but then we apply it to the finish and that's what we start to do here to help him start feeling more connected and releasing the discus more efficiently so at this point you know we're going to teach some core principles one of the things that most be beginning throwers tend to do is they just don't understand you know one side of the body versus the other side is supposed to move and one of the core concepts that most throwers don't don't do properly or optimally is create separation. So we have six pillars. We take the whole throw. So this is one. We go two, right? This is where we go three, four, and then as this is touching down to here, this is five, this is six. Specific objective and position in the ring. So this is the relationship between how we're gonna be moving the upper body around the lower body and explaining that hip shoulder connection. There's a correct way and a wrong way, and it's very easy to get it wrong. There's a lot of variables from strength training and how you position the lower body versus the upper body. So in this video, we were kind of showing Max, again, how that works, how it connected to the front of the throw, how that's affecting the middle, which we would call pillar three, four, five. And so here you can see we're trying to teach him some basic concepts to get his balance back so that he can start hitting some better throws. We work the throw in terms of training position. So we talk about our pillars. We teach how the foot move, the arm move, the knee move, the hip move. We, we kind of all explain that. And then we want to go put it back and put it into application. So here we're trying to kind of reconnect, clean up his start and help him to understand better balance points. And you're going to see that Max does a number of different things with carrying the discus and whatnot. Developing your strength will be key as you're growing. I always tell all my guys, if you wanna be a serious stud, avoid junk food, fast food. It doesn't mean you can't live and enjoy life. It means you just wanna be bigger, leaner, more muscular. After connecting the dots, explaining the pillars, so we go back and we start with pillar one, two, and three. That's how we're setting up the throw because we're trying to help Max achieve better balance, clean up his orbit so that the movement actually becomes more natural and easier, and that's what we were doing here. So you can see Max has orbit issues, he looks down, he opens his arm too much, a lot of different things going going on and that's what we wanted to begin addressing. That was actually really good, Max. So now let's flash forward a couple years. And this is what I think is really important. When you're focusing on the right things, you can really start to see that Max has made big improvement. This is what you would expect. He's creating much better mechanics. Now Max is still, up until really recently, he just couldn't feel the throw. You know, we used to joke around for the first couple of seasons we trained together. Hey Max, can you feel this? He was like, nope, nope. Now he's consistently, I felt this, I felt that. So that's a big part of the process. Each individual athlete Athlete is going to have their own time limit. but you can clearly see here that the difference he's older he's worked on a lot of things his balance is getting a lot better his movement is much much better it's clearly very visible here in his distances same guy very different movement and that's just the methodical approach to doing the right things over a longer period of time so remember young coaches throwers this is a process of education it's a process of doing the right things and having an understanding of what to do day in and day out is going to make your results 10 10 times better, the right process in the combination of technical work, rhythm, focus, and being taught to how to feel the throw, really starting to make those big jumps. And that's a good motivation for a lot of you out there. Just because it doesn't come easy at first doesn't mean it's not gonna come. Everybody has their own timeline for success. Keep working hard, hard work always pays off. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, hopefully this helped you out, and we will see you on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into what we do with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. If you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential, click the link below and we will see you on the next video.